A couple of weeks ago we did a, or I did a long drive competition and uh, it was a bit of fun. People seemed to like it and there was a lot of questions asked. The biggest one was how would my own driver, the Callaway B21 fare in that competition? So we're going to do, we're going to put three more drivers into the equation. We're going to put the PXG 0211, we're going to put the Mizuno STZ and we're going to put my Callaway Big Bertha B21 with a one inch shorter shaft and see how it fares in a long drive competition. As with last week, I think I would probably plumb for the Mizuno being the longest out of the three. And I'm a bit worried that I've made the wrong decision in this one inch shorter shaft. How much difference will there be in terms of yardage lost? And I'm going to set these drivers up and find out. Right, so before we uh, go any further, I'm going to change all of these so they've got similar sort of lofts. But um, so in the PXG's case, it's 10.5, taken down a degree and a half, it's going to be nine degrees. Another point to mention is that don't forget, this is not necessarily my optimal setting for what I would play. This is about how we can get the most distance out of these uh, clubs. This is purely a long drive challenge. It's not about accuracy. It's uh, all those reviews. If you want to find all that information, then go and uh, go and have a look at the individual reviews on dispersion, those things. This is purely about how long can we hit these drivers. Uh, right, Mizuno STZ, 10.5 degrees again is what its uh, standard loft is. Now we've got to take it down one or two. So we'll take that down one. So that's 9.5 degrees. And I think that's going to be a similar setup for the B21. But again, just a point to reiterate. This is not about accuracy. This is not a review of these three clubs. This is not to decide which is the best. It's to determine which I can hit the longest on our little live, uh, long drive comp. Right, as we wait for it to load, first up, we're gonna go with the Mizuno STZ. Don't forget, this is supposed to be this uh, very forgiving, but low spinning driver, so it should perform well in these kind of circumstances. Um, other thing to remember, uh, Pay attention to the carry distance. Laurie mentioned about this sort of 290 odd carry uh, overall distance that we achieved in last week's video. But bear in mind, that's a sort of suggested run out. It could be that we're sort of uh, downhill, downwind and on a uh, sort of uh, tarmac runway because don't get me wrong, a sort of 40 yard runoff is a lot, but that's all a bit of fun. It's the carry distance you must pay attention to. And uh, I'm just panicking to see that I have to press. I think I've got one more button to press before we go. Yep. First ball is up for Mizuno. I'll tell you briefly sort of how I think about the club sort of perform as well as we go. But don't forget, it's all about yardage. How far can we get that ball down this runway? First one. Well, that's bang down the middle, or at least I think it's down my target line down the middle, slightly down the right. But we take that for a start. The setup as well, this nine degrees, nine and a half degrees, we've purely got this setup for distance, not necessarily what I would gain. What's that first one? Let's have a benchmark. 275. Not bad, not great, but we found a fairway. Ah, I've leaked that one out. Leaked that one out, that's a four right jobby. That's not great. We might know. I was going to say we might just grab a piece of the fairway, but we're not going to. We're in, well, we're in, we're in the rough anyway. Right, we've got to get that one that's sort of a low spinner turning over from uh, right to left. That's the one that will get chasing down there. That's a better, that's the better ball flight. Whether or not it's got enough carry on it. But that's certainly, it's right down the middle. It's turned over in the way that uh, I just suggested. Now watch it kick on, but it's not going to get past that first ball. Still only up around that 2 sort of 70 mark. It's way down on last week at the moment. Next one. 
Now I can't see that, but it seemed really decent ball. Yeah, I've got it bouncing. That's a great ball. That's a great ball. We'll get the next ball lined up so that we don't lose any time. That's got to go past it. It's gone past the 280. 282, 283 maybe. What have we got? 283. Right, we're creeping up. Here we go. Here's a big one. Again, I can't see it into the blue clouds. It seemed really good. Where's it gone? Oh, wow, I've leaked it out right. Well, that is nothing like how it felt. It's the worst shot of it. Maybe got a little bit quick on that one. First sort of real bad ball. So 283 to beat still. Again, seemed okay, leaked it out, I've got that one, leaked it out a little bit to the right. It's not got that ball flight that's gonna turn the ball over, which is the one that you need to get chasing. And I think that'll end up just in again. We're in the first cut. It would have been a fairly long ball as well, that. Yeah, it was, but not in play. Have we got time for one more? Quick, come on, hurry up. 11 seconds. Nah. Had to, had to rush it. 283 is going to be the best ball, I'm afraid. It's down the middle, that one, and it will chase. But nowhere near good enough to get past that sort of 283 mark. No. Poor. Not the best performance by me. Um, I'm not going to blame the club too much there. So we've got 283 to beat. Let's have a look at the numbers that I was referring to just to pay attention to at the end. So only a 222 carry. Um, Ball speed of 143, again, quite a way down from what we were achieving last week, which is probably the telltale sign of my performance and my swing speed. Uh, we'll go straight into the PXG and see what this thing has got. Have I got to press a button again? I think I may have, you know, do I? I get this wrong every time, yes. So again, don't forget your comments down below. What's the best driver you've been uh, sort of trying so far this year? Or is it the one that's still in your bag? Let me know. And again, are you chasing distance or are you chasing dispersion? Yeah, that's not a bad start, a little bit heavy. It should be down the middle. Yeah, it's a decent start. Again, that sort of hard face of the, uh, of the PXG is the one thing I'm not overly keen on. What's that, 270 odd, is it? What do we get? The benchmark, 276. Now, that's a decent ball again. We've got two decent balls down the fairway. That's, I would think, it feels like that one could be good. What have we got? Oh yeah, go ball. That's going to get past it. It's not going to get, is it 280? We got past 280. We have. Just about. Yes, bang on 280. So, so far, the best ball we've got. Yeah, oh, that's terrible and that's not the shot we wanted. We might just hang in on that left answer now. Or is it? Uh, I might just hang on. So we're just about hang on the fairway, but that's only a 265 shot, so we're going to need a bit more. How many shots have we got left? Maybe two. Again, got some nice consistency with the shape here, and that's not a bad ball. I think that's going to, again, got that ball flight that I keep referring to. It's going to chase, but I don't think it's got 280 in it. No, I didn't think so. It's close again. It's close, 278 maybe. What have we got? 280 that was. So a couple of decent balls. How many have we got left? We've got two more. Ah, oh, that's got again, that low ball flight. It should be chasing. We've got some decent balls. The performance on this has been really consistent down the middle. Far better than what I was achieving with the Mizuno. 
but that again is going to get right up to that it's close it's right behind it probably 281 is it 280 right 30 seconds i'm not going to get two in so i'm going to take me time and see if we can get one decent last ball i think i've leaked it out right i can't see it i've lost it but it definitely wasn't good enough should we reload and see if we can get one more in oh wow terrible shot just when the performance of the pxg had done so well as soon as this lands i'm going to hit it see if we can get one more shot in Come on, hurry up. 10 seconds. Ah. Rushed. Should be okay in terms of, uh, yeah, uh, a bit of a low scooter. It'll stay in play in a performance of the PXG overall. That one leaked ball uh, and that, yeah, terrible rushed finish. So not the best, but it set, set the, the, the mark again. Um, let's wait and have a look this time at the carry distance. Only 226 carry. Oh no, it's our last ball, sorry. 280, we have, we'll need to have a look at that uh, 280 ball and see what that did in terms of carry. Um, but yeah, decent enough performance, but nowhere near. But this is the interesting one for me. Don't forget, this was the reason we did this sort of part two to this video. It was all about the, um, my own club, the Big Bertha. The one inch shorter shaft, this B21, this sort of uh, almost ignored this driver for so long and uh, in the end couldn't ignore it any longer. It's in my bag right now. The question is, will a one inch shorter shaft, it's got 280 to beat. Can it do it? If I'm honest with you, I forgot what Mizuno did in the first round. Can you remember, Han? Let's see if we can... Um, I mean it doesn't make a difference and, uh, and stick 285 in there that's an half decent start we've got that uh, ball flight turning over that's that sort of low chaser i want um but not enough carry it's not going to reach 270 not the start we wanted for the b21 can we get better right Again, it's much easier to get that ball sort of turned over and do what I want with it, manipulate the ball a little bit more. But I don't think, again, we've got the carry on it. So don't forget to reiterate, I, I said at the beginning, I don't think this is going to do it in terms of yardage. Um, but in terms of consistency, maybe. But we've got, we've got two balls in the fairway. But we're going to need a bit better than that in terms of yardage. Oh, that's a ball, you know. That's a great drive if it's got it coming back. Come back. Now then, let's see what this thing does. It might not have the, it, the, the problem is it is, you see, you've got that high launching ball, but then you lose that low spinning one, which is exactly what it's done. So it looks nice, but it doesn't travel as far. So, back to the sort of, do you know what? I'm gonna, I mean, it's so obvious to me that this driver is so much better in my hands than those either two. And it mightn't get there in terms of a yardage, but it's certainly, that's having a good go, that one, to be fair. Go. Go. That's 280, isn't it? 282, is it? Have we got it? 283. I can't remember what Mizuno did with the first ball, but I think that's possibly got it, you know. I was just saying it wouldn't get it on distance and it might have just done that. Another good ball. I was saying basically that, you know, in terms of performance wise, this club in my hands, I've got far greater control with it. And even though we may give up distance, but it's very marginal what you are giving it up. And that's another decent ball, sort of near that 280 mark, 278 maybe. We've got 283. It's still that one to beat. We've got one, maybe two more. That's got that lower ball flight. I just don't know whether it's got enough carry on it. I'm going to reload, see if we can pinch one last ball if we're quick, but I don't think we will. Go. Go. No. 
No, not enough. Again, but we'll look at that in terms of the balls on the fairway. How many seconds have we got left? We've got one more in it. Come on, hurry up. Four. Nah. Nah, out of time. Right. Out of time and out of breath. I'm going to have to probably uh, look back over these numbers, but um, I think it's fair to say that at uh, 283, the big Bertha came out on top. The interesting thing for me this week, and look at that 148 ball speed on that last shot. I mean, the interesting thing for me was that big Bertha. Um, I'm sort of slightly relieved, if you like, that it did really well in terms of the dispersion and it didn't really lose out in terms of distance. And if we did get that one ball, 283, to be the leading ball, then you know, it didn't lose anything. And it showed the key to me was all about finding the centre of the club face is where the ball speeds are really at. And uh, that certainly came home with that sort of, uh, so yeah, with the, with the B21. So assuming I haven't got this wrong, B21 comes out on top, 283. The other two clubs were literally again a yard or two apart. And I think that's the point again, just if you put these, if we put these in a chart, we had 293 last week that came out with the SIM, 292 and 291 with the ping um, and the other club that we put in the Callaway Epic Speed. So these are 10 yards off this morning, but I would guess that, and we'll have a look, closer look at it, my swing speed is probably that little bit slower and what will be the biggest difference between the two. So in terms of my performance this morning with three drivers, yet again, only a couple of yards between the best and worst that we could find. Nothing to split them, but for me, I'm really pleased that the B21 performed as well as it did. So that's it, as ever. And again, I'm going to say it one last time. This is a bit of fun. It's not to find out which is best. Like I said, even in terms of how I would set these clubs up, I would certainly be putting a little bit more loft on them for me on a personal level. This is all out distance, just a little bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Any ideas as to who you want to see next? If we do one of these in another couple of weeks, we'll put three more drivers up in the test and see if we can beat that one at the top of the pile, which is the sim at 293. But for now, uh, hit that like button, comment down below, and uh, I'll see you all soon. I need a, a breather and a cup of tea.